Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine. So today, very important episode my friends, so make sure to stick here till the end because today we're gonna analyze the Bitcoin price here on the spot market. We're also gonna compare the charts and the time frames through the DXY and also through the Bitcoin CME chart. So make sure to stay here till the end because we have some very important price action going on right now so here we are starting with the one hour time frame as usual in the bitstamp chart so on the spot price here on bitcoin and as you can see the one hour here is still looking very very bullish we had here this uh, breakout and the confirmation that the old resistance is now the new support so currently we are seeing a nice breakout from this falling wedge that we had here in the last couple of days we had this very beautiful w formation that currently is breaking out to the upside and we are even now building up another W formation that most likely also gonna bring us to higher levels towards $12,000 because $12,000 acted before as a support so this red line here is potentially now the new resistance and it's sitting right here at around $12,100 so this is my potential first target of this breakout that we are seeing here based on the spot chart but if you compare the DXY and the CME chart, it doesn't look too bullish in my opinion at the moment. But here during the weekend, we had some nice price action and we have to see once we're gonna open the traditional markets on Monday again, if this price action that we have seen is gonna be sustainable or not. And here in the one hour, of course, you can see that right now we're trading above the 50 level in the RSI. And if we go over to the Bollinger Band, you can see that also here we're trading in the upper area. So we are in theory still bullish here in the one hour. We have Stochastic and MACD which are cooling off a bit. That is okay after our push here towards 11,650. So we are having currently a little retracement back down to the middle area. So towards 11,550. And this is where we should expect another bounce to the upside to potentially retest even $12,000. Now the problem is that if we go over to the DXY because the DXY and the CME chart of Bitcoin stopped trading on Friday and on Friday I told you that the DXY is looking like we could have a possible push to the upside that could indicate that we will see a potential drop in the Bitcoin price and it didn't happen we stopped trading here on Friday and you see that my indicator here in the one hour time frame was quite oversold here in the DXY so I was expecting a push to the upside here in the DXY but it didn't happen so this could happen on Monday so we have to wait till the traditional markets are gonna open again what will happen here with the DXY because if we are seeing here push to the upside then I think Bitcoin could have a bigger correction but of course if we continue to drop here in the DXY then most likely Bitcoin will reach our bullish targets of around 12k maybe even higher and now let's go over to the CME chart in the Bitcoin price because here we had exactly the opposite from the DXY chart. We had here my indicator in very exhausting conditions, so very close to overbought condition. And the last time that this happened, also we have seen a bigger correction in the Bitcoin price. And I think that also here, maybe the CMEs are in here for a little correction to the downside, which would bring the spot price even lower because currently we had here a push to the upside side in the spot price and if we're gonna open in the CMEs on these price levels where we are right now in the spot market we're gonna have a new future gap below of us so be very careful if you're starting to enter new long positions right now it is looking bullish but as I told you there are also some bearish signs and also last time that we had here this little gap immediately it got filled again and of course then we have seen a nice bounce to the upside but this is why I'm telling you maybe better wait for Monday's opening and then open up new trades because it looks like that maybe here based on the DXY and the CME chart we're gonna have a possible correction next week incoming even though the Bitcoin chart is really starting to look very bullish. And now let's go over to the four hour time frame because here in the spot market 
you can see that all the moving averages are coming together here so we are trading right at these moving averages so in theory right now we should expect a big bounce to the upside or a bigger correction to the downside so when the, all the moving averages are coming together we're gonna have to take a decision where we're gonna head to next and here in the spot chart you can see that the rsi is again trading above the 50 level which is a good sign if we go over into the bollinger band in the four hour here you can also see that we are trading in the upper areas on the bullish side so even if we retrace back down between 11,540 even down to 11,470 we will remain on our bullish way to the upside only if we would lose here this 11,470 level then I think we're gonna start here a correction to the downside, potentially again to see this $11,000 area. Stochastic is also looking a bit toppy here, so also here I'm expecting a possible correction to the downside. MACD is still looking good, so MACD is still shifted to the upside. We also have to wait what will happen here if we're gonna continue to trade to the upside or if we're gonna have a correction. If here we're gonna have a bearish cross, then prepare for a major correction. And now let's go over to the DXY in the four hour. Because also here you can see again, similar condition like in the one hour, we are getting into very oversold condition. Even the RSI is down here and we have all the moving averages here above of us. So also here I was expecting a possible bounce to the upside. It didn't happen on Friday. So it is very likely that it can happen during this coming week. So that's why I'm still expecting a possible at, at least short lived bounce in the DXY that could bring Bitcoin into a major correction even down towards $10,500. Hopefully not, but based here on the DXY chart and comparing the Bitcoin chart, it is still very likely, even though we had the bullish breakout from this falling wedge in the Bitcoin price and my target is still at around 12,000, maybe even higher up to 12,700. But based here for the short term, especially watching here at the DXY, it looks like that we could see in the DXY a bounce in the upside and a possible short lift correction in the Bitcoin price. And now let's go over to the CMEs because here we are still trading below the 50 moving average and above the 20 moving average. So also here we are squeezing into a very critical point. We have to wait till the CMEs are gonna open again and then see if we're able to push through higher here or if we're getting rejected here and we're seeing a correction possibly down here between 11,280, maybe even down to touch the 200 moving average here at $11,000. So the four hour time frame in the CMEs is looking a bit more bullish than bearish, but as I told you, if the DXY is gonna pump, then I'm also preparing here for a possible correction to the downside, even though my own indicator gave here a buy signal and in theory we are still on the way to the upside. So here the four hour is looking a bit more bullish, although the RSI managed to go above the 50 level. So the four hour in the CMEs is looking more bullish than bearish, even though, as I told you, the DXY is also looking bullish. So it's gonna be a fight between the US dollar index and the Bitcoin CMEs on Monday as soon as the markets are gonna open again. And now let's also have a look into the daily time frame because today currently we are trading above the 20 daily moving average which is at 11,540. It's a bullish sign but yesterday also we closed below the 20 daily moving average. So so far we didn't manage to close a daily candle above the 20 moving average which is a bit of a bearish sign. The good thing is that we are bouncing here from the 50 level in the RSI so in theory we could see a possible big bounce to the upside coming up pretty soon. Even my buy signal hidden here in the daily time frame of course I would wish that we were more oversold it happened right here in the middle so I'm not pretty convinced that this is a valid buy signal but of course it's already a good sign that we could see a possible big push to the upside coming up pretty soon especially if you're successfully bouncing here from the 50 level in the RSI which currently is also building up a possible falling wedge and also here I'm expecting to break out to the upside pretty soon but we can also stay in this channel for a bit more before we're gonna see a breakout to the upside and now let's have a look also into the Bollinger Band in the daily because here you can see that we are leaving currently here the bearish side but only if we can break here this $11,670 level and also start to trade here in the upper area 
As long as we're trading below $11,700, then prepare for a major correction down to the bottom towards $11,200 because so far we didn't even wick above the middle line of the Bollinger Band here in the daily. So even though this move is bullish so far here based in the Bollinger Band in the daily, we didn't even wick above the middle line which is quite bearish in my opinion and it's all going to be depend where we're going to close the daily candles today and maybe also this coming week we have the macd still shifted to the downside we could have here a possible bullish cross but so far we are still shifted to the downside we didn't have any bullish cross nothing even with these pushes to the upside that we have seen during this weekend stochastic is oversold so here i'm expecting a possible bounce to the upside but as i told you as long as we are not even able to break this eleven thousand seven hundred dollars so here the midline of the bollinger band i am still a bit more bearish than bullish here even though we broke out from this falling wedge but as i told you it is also possible that we're not going to see such a great performance or first we're going to have a short lift dump again before we're gearing up for the next big move to the upside that could take us again towards here this $12,100 top that we also have here in the Bollinger Band and also would coincide with our previous support which now is new resistance here at around $12,150. And now let's go over to the DXY because here you can see the daily time frame looks still quite bearish here. We got rejected from the 20 daily moving average. So even though we could see a short lift bounce to the upside in the DXY, which I'm expecting so far, we didn't manage to break through the 20 daily moving average, which is at $93.30. And that's why I'm still very bearish for the DXY. The only reason why I think we could have here some bounces to the upside is because we were very over sold and that's why it is very likely that we're gonna see in the next couple of days and weeks maybe some pushes to the upside but at the end most likely we're gonna come down here again in the DXY and this will be very bullish for the Bitcoin price and now let's open up the CME chart because here the CMEs are still looking more bullish even though we had here a sell signal and afterwards we started this correction to the downside we still have our CME gap at $9,600 down below here but even here you can see that we bounced from the 15 the RSI so we are still bullish here even though a correction down towards this $9,600 is still in the cards and now let's go back to the bitstamp chart and let's open up the weekly time frame because uh, today we're going to close this uh, weekly candle it's still on red but it is still looking very bullish for the long term of course we could expect here a possible dump towards the 20 weekly moving average and even below but overall we are still very bullish for the bitcoin price in the long term so even though we could see a possible correction to the downside this is maybe the last opportunity to buy really cheap bitcoin and altcoin especially altcoin because currently some of them are performing very well and if you're interested in buying some altcoins then maybe wait for a major correction in the bitcoin price because it will take down all the all the other altcoins for sure and that would be a perfect buy opportunity and um, just a side note i know that there are some coins which are doing extremely performance right now and i always recommend you if you're already invested in those altcoins take always a bit of profits out into bitcoin don't be too greedy and also don't hold the altcoins for too long in my experience it's always good to do some swing trades but at the end the best thing always you can do is just to stick into bitcoin and stay invested in bitcoin because at the end for the long term you will be doing the best if you just buy and hodl bitcoin or if you're gaining some profits from altcoins just park it into bitcoin and you should be doing fine so now let's also have a look here into the bollinger band in the weekly because here as you can see we are starting here this little correction possibly down towards the two moving averages here between ten thousand five hundred to nine thousand six hundred dollar it is still possible that maybe we're gonna have here another retest of twelve thousand dollar but at the end i think we're gonna first have to come down to retest this region close the cme gap and then start the real parabolic run to the upside which will bring us to new all-time highs 
Also, we have the stochastic shifted to the downside. MACD is also looking a bit toppy, but of course, still shifted to the upside. So, in the bigger picture, everything is still looking great here. And if we go over to the Bitstamp chart and open up the monthly time frame here, you can see that if we zoom out, we are still at the early stages of this parabolic run that we are facing here in the next couple of weeks and months. Also, you see that the RSI just bounced here from the 50, even after this crash that we had here in March. So we never came below the 50 level in the RSI. So if we zoom out, Bitcoin has been always in a bull run here and always looking bullish here in the monthly. Even my own indicator here shows that we are still at the beginning here of a major run to the upside so for the long term guys don't worry even if you just buy bitcoin and miss out maybe in some altcoin gains don't worry for the long term you will be doing very fine without even need to trade too much but of course if you want to take advantage of these big pumps and dumps on the way to our new all-time highs then make sure that you trade it over on bybit femex or bityard for example you find all the exchanges that i recommend you down below here in the video description with my links you can get some bonus up to 538 dollars and of course although you're gonna support the channel and please make sure also to join our great and free discord trading chat It's completely for free and everyone is welcome also there i'm giving out all the buy and sell signals that i get with my own indicators so also if you want to trade based on my indicator you can of course also join our free discord trading chat and trade based on these signals that i'm getting but of course you always have to do your own research as well so this is just a helpful tool but make sure that you also do your own ta all right guys and with that said they're gonna wrap it up for now please moon up the like if you like the content subscribe here to the channel and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye